a book by its cover. Yeah, I do like the one where Lois Lane falls from the helicopter and Superman swooshes down and catches her. Which one was that? One. <laughs> you realize that scene was rife with scientific inaccuracy. <sighs> yes, I know. Men can't fly. fly. Not Clark Kent, but I say super Coming off the top clean like Lex Luthor If you think you're more monster than me You should know when my dreams are play hide and seek with Freddy Krueger Every time I get off, many see what I'm on Big voice, you can hear me whether or not my mic's on Ripping like a python, hold it high like nylons About to blow up like they piled on the pipe bombs Shout out to my mom, tells me what a man am I Box cutters got me bladed up like a samurai Take it, pop away from me and breathe my last breath and die But that will never happen, or else I have to beat you with my left hand Right. No, no, let's assume that they can. <laughs> Lois Lane is falling, accelerating at an initial rate of 32 feet per second per second. Superman swoops down to save her by reaching out two arms of steel. Miss Lane, who is now traveling approximately 120 miles an hour, hits them and is immediately sliced into three equal pieces. <laughs> I'm headline news, catch me on C-SPAN, master of the universe, you can call me He-Man, she can, give me the hand, the watch the other women call her names as they be here with the tree branch, just twisted angels know that when he rhymes, Lee and box cutters have no competition, we win, everything we do is concrete, Siemens, you never trade my song, so we can't be friends, no beef, cause you're a vegan, you lost, the end, you need tons of help bro, better send a beacon, and before you begin, watch what you speaking, cause being you don't cost a thing like free nights and weekends, Unless Superman matches her speed and decelerates. In what space, sir? In what space? She's two feet above the ground. You know, frankly, if he really loved her, he'd let her hit the pavement. It'd be a more merciful death. Excuse me, your entire argument is predicated on the assumption that Superman's flight is a feat of Why does it seem that I'm living my dream? Why does it feel like I'm a different me? Why does it taste like sweet victory? But it sounds like a big lie to me and my senses say I need Right to the point, all I'm hearing is chatter Lyrics mind blowing, get your brain splattered You say you're better, thanks, I need laughter Halo Super, why do I need swagger? I bully these tracks where the beat feels picked on Every song I do blows up, Krypton Should I go on, hit you so hard you can feel it in your photons? Oh well, so long, I'm the equivalent to five lions Voltron, this here is more than the game I go Tron, I'll leave you with some words, yo Hotter than an inferno, get right Or I have to fry you up like the Colonel Colonel, listening to yourself, it is well established that Superman's flight is a feat of strength. It is an extension of his ability to relieve tall buildings, an ability he derives from exposure to Earth's yellow sun. And you don't have a problem with that? How does he fly at night? A, a combination of the moon's solar reflection and the energy storage capacity of Kryptonian skin cells. <laughs> I have 2,600 comic books in there. I challenge you to find a single reference to Kryptonian skin cells. Challenge accepted. Super. <laughs>